going guys, Sharblox here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get their chaotic top hat from the Roblox Ready Player 2 event. Now this one is kind of easy, um, it's not exactly that hard. There is a certain part of the event which is quite hard, but I will show you guys how to do it anyway. And yeah, this is what the top hat looks like. Personally, not my favourite item. It kind of looks like a cereal bowl, like it's got a massive dip in the top hat. I don't really know what's going on, but there you go. If you guys want to get it, go ahead and watch this video. We also get a badge called Meet the Developer. We don't get a shirt. We don't get a pants of this. It's literally just the top hat and the badge, but you can complete the Ready Player 2 event once you've got all of the items. So like I said, the badge is a bit weird. I haven't even met this guy and you get Meet the Developer badge. So there you go. And the game that we want to play to get this stuff is Dungeon Quest. So what we're going to do is jump into a server. I will show you guys exactly what we have to do. Like I said, it's not that hard. One of the more easy items. Go ahead, join the server and I'll show you guys what we have to do. All right, guys. So once we're inside the server of Dungeon Quest, we actually have to collect all of the colored gems, but we have to collect them in order. And the first one is red. So what we're going to do is run over the bridge. We're going to run all the way down here. I did this on a VIP server and I also sped the gameplay up so it's not boring. But here is the red gem. We're just going to walk into it, collect it. The next one we have to get is this yellowish golden kind of gem. If you see any other colors on the way, ignore them because you want to get them in order. So we're just going to run all the way over here. We're going to run to this big castle wall or shop or whatever it is. And we are going to find the yellow gem. Now what we've got to do is find the gem, which is just here by the trees. This one's kind of like a dark blue kind of color, maybe a purple a little bit, but we want to select this one. Now what we need to do is run over here because we need to go to the waterfall. We actually need to swim underwater to get the next gem. And this one is a light blue color. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in the pond, swim underwater or um, cyan, whatever you want to call it. And we will find the gem in its little cave hidden underwater. So then we're going to come out and the next one that we need to get is the white gem. You might have passed this earlier. Um, so just run up here. It should actually be behind a tree, kind of like this gray, white kind of gem just hiding. And now what we need to do is swim in the sea because we need to swim over to the island over here next to the massive door. And we actually need to get the purple gem, which is just hiding around the corner. So yeah, these gems, not too hard to get. As you can see, I got them all fairly quickly. We're going to go ahead and select this one. And now there is one more, which is a green gem. And to get the green gem, we actually have to do a bit of parkour. That's because we have to run all the way over here to the abandoned cave or abandoned mine. Um, but you're just going to find it just like I did. You maybe zoom in, jump up the rocks, run in here and run through the smoke. Now we're on to the obstacle course. So like I said, I'm going to speed up this gameplay. It's kind of easy. It reminds me of those classic Roblox obbies that you used to get like five years ago. But anyway, just jump over all of these parts. We want to get to the mine tracks and then there is actually the green gem or the emerald gem which is hiding inside of this hidden kind of like cave room. So just run up to it, collect it. You don't have to click it, literally just walk into it. And now what you guys have to do is run out of this cave and just jump all the way down. We are now done with the obby. You don't have to complete it, run out, go back through the smoke and just get out of the mine. Now this bit is probably the hardest bit. I think this is going to be kind of hard for kids. What you have to do is actually look at all of the five lights. They will be flashing and there's going to be some type of secret code and you have to write it down in order. Now how I managed to do this is because I'm not very good at these sort of things. I actually recorded it so I used my screen recorder and I put circles around each of the lights and each time they flashed I basically like wrote down the numbers in order. So like I said, it's not exactly easy. What I actually did to do this was bring up a notepad on my screen and I was able to type it out. So let me show you guys how I did it. So the first lights that flash, there's two of them that flash, right? And then again, on the second part, there is two that flash. Then there is three which flash. Then there is another two which flash. Then there is five, so all of them flash together. And then the last one is four. If you do it in that order, you're going to get a secret code. But keep in mind that the code is going to be different for everyone watching this video. And now what we need to do is run over and we need to find the waterfall again. But this time we need to find the secret control panel, which is on the door. And we need to enter in the code. So mine was two, two. Then it went three. Then it went two, five, four. Click on the green arrow and we're going to get teleported into the secret boss level. 
So there you go, you get teleported. Now the timer at the top says 10 minutes, but as soon as you walk through the door, you actually lose health and you lose time as well. So you've got to do this quite fast, right? We've got around eight minutes to do the mini parkour bit here, which I actually failed on in a second. And we also have to complete the boss. So try and do this as fast as possible. Like I said, it's not that easy. It is a little bit difficult, but once you do the parkour, smash through the energy barrier um, number two, and then we're onto the glitch, which is the boss battle. Now, I'd recommend using Q and E as much as possible. I didn't even use my sword to attack him. Because he's got lasers flying everywhere, I didn't want to get too close. Then he also starts to regen his health using these energy kind of beams at the side, and you've actually got to destroy these energy beam podiums, and once you destroy them, um, you can go back to fighting him like normal. So yeah, his health will go up and down, um, and it's actually kind of frustrating, especially because you've got a timer at the top, so you're kind of rushing for time, you know, you're trying to get as much hits on him as possible you got three lives as you can see i just lost a life there but don't worry too much like i said you have got three and if you fail this so if the timer runs out you have to do all of the gem stuff and the morse code stuff again so it is very frustrating but what we're going to do is we're actually going to fight this guy again we're going to use all of the lasers and the force fields that sort of thing and there you go i completed it i got the badge that is how you do it it also comes up saying mission complete and you get teleported back to the main level now I just want to say guys, when I first did this, I was so frustrated because I completed it, I defeated the boss, that's why this video is so late, because I did it first time and I never got the prize. So just over on my profile now, make sure you go ahead and check because Roblox is currently down and it's lagging because so many people are playing it. But if I go to my inventory, accessories and hats, you guys can see I've now got it, chaotic top hat, that is how you do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any more of these event videos thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one